You ready? All right, check it out. One, two, three. There you go. They're in. So these are the M Sport badges that I bought from Amazon. So they are, if I'm not mistaken, I think. So this is the packaging right there. They're not official BMW badges. Um, I got it from Amazon and I'll post a link in the description box if you guys wanna order these. I'm gonna give my initial thought and review on the badges once I actually saw them. Um, and I'm thinking of different places to put them on. My initial idea was to put it where the old um, X drive badge was, which was right there, right there. So I took it off, so it looks cleaner now without the badges actually. But my initial thought, like I said, was to go ahead and replace the old X drive badges with this ones right here. So they're actually really good quality. They're metal, so they're not cheap plastic. They're not gonna break on you. Um, the only thing that I have, my only complaint with it, and of course, I mean, these are made in China and they're from. Oh Lord. Saved. They are from China, so they're not, you know, they're not official licensed BMW products. These are Chinese made from Amazon, like I said. So they're not gonna be perfect. And I've paid, I think like 11 bucks, maybe 15 bucks total with taxes and everything once I actually uh, purchased these. And they came in fairly, uh, pretty fast. It took about three, three or four days to come in. So again, my initial thought, they built really good. The actual M colors, the red, the deep blue, and then the light blue, very nice. Even the M emblem itself is not too bad at all. So the niche, you know, the, the M is not bad at all. My only complaint is that where it says powered by and BMW Motorsports, it is painted, so it's not fully covered in the white paint, especially where it says powered by. You can see some of the black showing through. So that's my only complaint is that it's not perfectly coated in the white, but for the price that I paid, I'm not gonna complain too much. Um, and they are double-sided sticky tape, the 3M tape. So it should work just fine. My only concern now is trying to find out the spot where I'm gonna put the badges. So like again, my initial thought was to put it where the old emblems were. So I tried putting it there and I wasn't too convinced. So let me show you guys real quick. All right, so hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys can see. But my initial process, this is what the old um, extract badge was. So I wanted to take that off and replace them with this ones. But after kind of mocking it up and putting it in there, on there, I wasn't too convinced. I mean, you guys can let me know if I'm wrong, but that's what it's gonna eventually look like if I do decide to put them here. I don't know, I'm not too convinced. I don't know if it's just the thing is too small or it's just cause it's blacked out. So I don't know if somebody stand out, but I'm not too super convinced guys. So I was thinking either there or something maybe here or down below, maybe a little bit higher, or maybe put it over here in the back somewhere. I don't know, maybe in the bottom, something like this. I don't know, maybe there, maybe here. This would definitely be too much, but, um, or maybe on this side, maybe on this side. So I have two of them, so I need to figure it out. So I'm gonna give it a thought real quick, mock up some stuff and see what looks good, what doesn't look good and then I'll get back with you guys whenever I do put them on. Uh, give me a minute, let me think about it, and then I'll get back to you guys whenever I do put it on. So I looked around, and I tried placing it on the top of the fender. That didn't look too good. What I ended up going for is this, and just, just a quick mock up. That's where I'm deciding to put the emblem. Something where it's not too much, it's just enough, it's not gonna be showing off too much. So I think with it being on this side, it kind of balances, balances out the X1 emblem on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead, I cleaned it off real quick, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean off the area really good. And then I'll show you guys how to apply it on. Super simple, I mean, what we need to do is just make sure that it's, it's evened out. So let me place you guys down real quick and then I'll show you guys placing it. Okay, so if you guys can see this little bubble, that means the actual emblem is leveled. And I'm, I'm taking the, the actual level from the middle point of the emblem, not the sides because it bevels out to the sides. So you wanna take it, especially if the emblem is, is not completely straight, Take it from the dead center and level that up from there and you should be good to go guys. So once this is all said and done and you have it ready to place, okay, make sure it's nice and leveled. What you wanna do is take off, start off with the corner piece and get it about halfway. Make sure that everything's leveled again. And once you think you have it down, you can go ahead and place it down, okay? 
So once you have the official, the initial first corner down, go ahead and start peeling the rest of the tape off and start laying it down. Okay. So you start peeling it. Okay. And as you're peeling it, you're going to be pressing down on the emblem, making sure at all times that it's laying down. Okay. Finish it off here. Take off this tape. All right. Press it down. Make sure it's nice and firmly in there. And I dropped it a couple times, so it's not, got, you know, I already got some scratches on the side, but it is good to go. So that's it, guys. It is as simple as that. All right, guys, so this is the final product. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Boom. There you go, just the emblem. So very subtle, just like a nice little hint. Something that was, it was just missing something back here, I guess, man. Powered by BMW Motorsports. Very nice. So the only question now is, where am I going to put this second uh, emblem? I do feel like the inside is missing something. What? I don't know. So what I was thinking is, just to kind of give the car, you know, you already have, I already got the M emblem in the steering wheel. Besides this one's right here. This is the M Sport package. So of course it's not a, a true M car, but it's the M Sport package. So I do want to kind of show it off a little bit. I don't know, something maybe here, maybe down here, something a little bit more subtle. So what I decided on after fumbling around with different ideas, I decided on something again, very subtle. And this is the final result guys. So let me see what you guys think. So I uh, thought about it and I figured it right here. That way I can see it and you know I can see the emblem for here and then the back people can see it from the outside the other emblem. So very subtle. The fact that it's black is very clean. So you got the M emblem here and now here. You know it looks a little different from every other X1 out there. Again given that the M Sport is you know harder to find or to see in the streets than just a regular X1. So the same process that I did outside in the other emblem it's the same thing that i did inside again i'll leave in the description box below the link to the amazon um where i got it from and they do have silver i believe so if you guys do want to get silver i believe they have silver and if you guys want to see any type of particular um interest in the video i am uh thinking of doing a review on it and then a zero to 60 for you guys so you guys can see the car is completely stock no actual engine mods no mo nothing so it's completely stock that way you guys can see a zero to 60 run the car has around 70,000 miles now, so it's 2015. We'll see. I also got to do oil change here uh, very, very soon. So I'll be doing a video about that as well. And again, if you guys have anything in particular you guys want to see, please let me know. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later. When you want to evolve or you are evolving, regardless if you want to or not, like someone like myself who is developing clairvoyant abilities by the age of 20, because that's my genetic disposition as a Caribbean person, it comes to you and you have to accept it.